So here's how to sell in Canva using phone. But before we start, you can try out Canva Pro with my link in the description. Canva is a versatile online graphic design platform used to create a wide variety of visual content. And as you can see, we're currently in the canva.com website on our phone. From here, let's tap on the menu on the top left corner. After that, let's tap on plans and pricing. And over here, you can see all the different plans that they offer. If you already have an account, tap on login on this section. Then we will go with continue with Google. After that, tap on continue. Now, as you can see, we're currently logged in to our Canva account. From here, I will choose social media to get started. After that, you can tap on the search bar and type in whatever that you're looking for, such as ebook. Now, I will tap on ebook cover. You will then be taken to the page where you can choose templates for your ebook cover. So give it some time to load up. So once you're here on this section, you can scroll through these options and choose whichever template that you want to use. I will go with this one. And as you can see, we're currently in the editor page. Here, you can select different elements of the template, such as this text. Now, you can type in whatever that you want to replace the text with. As an example, I will type in something like project management. You can replace the text with whatever that you want. So this way, you can make all the necessary changes according to your preference. Then, tap on the share icon on the top right corner on this page. After that, we will select download. After that, you will get to see all of these options. First, select the file type. You can choose from all of these options but I will go with PNG, which is suggested. Then tap on download. Now, Canva is preparing your file for download. And as you can see, the file has now been downloaded onto our phone. After that, let's open up Etsy.com on a new page and sign in to your account. Then tap on the store icon on the top. So once you're in the shop section, set up your shop preferences on this section, such as the language, which for me is English. After that, choose your shop country. Scroll through the options and select the relevant one. And then you can also set your shop currency. Once you're done, tap on save and continue on the bottom. Now on the next page, you need to put in a name for your shop. So type in the name that you want to set. Make sure that you meet the requirements that are specified below. Also, you need to make sure that the name is unique. In this case, this one is taken, so we're not able to save and continue. Over here, you can see some suggestions from Etsy that you can choose from. So you can select one or try another name, then tap on save and continue. And once you're here on the next page, you need to tell them about your listing. So on the category section, type in the category of your product. In this case, this will be templates. So once you select the category, you need to scroll down and select what type of item it is, a physical item or digital. Since this is a template, it will go under digital files. Then on the who made it section, select I did. After that, on what is it, you can select a finished product. Then moving on, you can select when it was made. So I will select 2020 to 2025. You can choose whichever is relevant. Then. How is this digital content created? You can select created by me or with an AI generator. You can also add production partners if you have any. If you tap on it, you can put in the details of your production partner right over here. And once you're done filling in all the details, just tap on save on the bottom. And once you're done with all of this information, go ahead and tap on save and continue on this page. After that, scroll up to the top and you will see this section that says add more details. Here, you can start by putting in your product title. For now, as an example, I will type in ebook. After that, you have the photos and video section. Here, tap on add and choose from where you want to add the photo or video. After that, we will select the template that we downloaded from Canva. 
so select it and tap on Add on the top right, and the image has been added. Now scroll down further, and on the thumbnail section, you can adjust the photo that you just added as your thumbnail. On the next section, you will get Digital Files. This is where you can add the actual file of your template. So tap on Add File and add it from your device. Moving on, you have Description. Put in a detailed yet short description about your product to let your customers know more about it. For now, I will type in something random, but make sure that it's relevant to your product. So after you're done with the description, you have Personalization. You can tap on Add Personalization to add more details. Next up, we have Price and Inventory. You can set the quantity and price for your product. You also have the option to add SKU if you want. Then, we have Variations. After that, we have Tags and Attributes. Here, you can go through all of these options and set different attributes of your product. So I will select the primary and secondary colors. Then, you can choose a specific occasion that applies to your product. So scroll through these options and choose whichever one that is relevant. I will select a random one. You can also set a specific holiday over here. Just go through the options like before and choose the relevant one. After that, we have tags. Here, you can type in different tags that are relevant to your product. This will make your product more visible to potential customers. Just type them in and tap on Add. You can also add materials over here. Moving on, you can add GPS or manufacturer and safety information if it's available. So scroll through this page and look for any other details that you need to add. Over here on the shop section, you can add the product to a specific section of your shop, which will keep your shop organized. You can also add renewal options for your product. So once you're done here, just tap on Save and Continue on the bottom. After that, just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, it says great job on your first listing, which means that your product has now been listed on your Etsy store. Here from these options, let's tap on Do This Later to move on to the next section. And now we are on the section where we can set up how to get paid on Etsy. So choose where is your bank located. After that, choose if you're an individual or an incorporated business. I will go with individual. Then, you need to put in all of these details about yourself. So fill up your country of residence, first name and last name, and then you need to put in your date of birth, starting with the month, day, and year. And once you're done putting in this information, you need to put in your taxpayer address on this section. So fill up all of this information as well. Keep in mind that this information is important and necessary. So once you're done, scroll down further and add your bank information. After you're done with this section, just tap on Save and Continue. Now you're ready to start selling your Canva items on Etsy. And that is exactly how to sell in Canva using phone.